Rioter has packed the L.A. County Board of Supervisors meeting today to protest giant cell towers at their stations. CBS 2's Dave Lopez shows us why they have serious concerns. This is a step in the right direction, not only for the firefighters and the firefighters' safety, but for the citizens we serve. The problem is that wireless uses microwaves, and that when you microwave people, over time, they get sick. And for hours, speaker after speaker addressed the County Board of Supervisors today, saying that the installation of the county's new emergency radio system just isn't worth it. We were saying to the federal government, we need an extension uh, for the purpose of answering substantial questions about this very important public safety matter. The federal government is going to give Los Angeles County $154 million in grant money to pay for the system, but it comes with a catch. The deadline is September 30th. Eight of these cell towers have been installed. The plan calls for 176 more. But by a 5-0 vote, the Board of Supervisors put a halt to everything, saying that more study is needed and the concern is far too great. The cancer risks are there. That's what the board was told. All cell towers can cause cancer. All cell towers can cause neurological illnesses. It doesn't matter if it's an L.A. Ricks Tower or Verizon Tower. No one is arguing that this emergency system is needed. They just don't want it to be wireless. They could use a wired system, use the phone lines, which is faster, more secure, and in bad weather, wireless doesn't work that well. So it's a new concept, and the only way they can accomplish that is by putting cell phone antennas up in all of the fire stations and throughout the county. And that's exactly what firefighters and the public told the board today they don't want. From downtown Los Angeles, Dave Lopez, CBS 2 News.